Hello friends, in this video I will explain semaphore as a solution of critical section problem. So first we will see what is semaphore. So semaphore actually is an object which is having an integer value. Now this value can be accessed only by two operations. One operation, uh, historically that operation actually known as P which is used for decreasing that value and V for increasing that value. So P sometimes we also call it weight and we also call it signal in POSIX thread these P and V operation actually named as SEM underscore weight and SEM underscore post so semaphore basically is an integer is a variable uh, there is a value and this value can be accessed or can be manipulated by only two operations and these operations are atomic now and so these are the definitions for operation P and V so this operation P what this operation will do it will decrease the value of S and now if this value is less than 0 it will keep on waiting so how this waiting can be achieved one way is that if there is a while loop with this condition so that while loop keep on running so that will be a busy waiting and this V operation, this V operation will increase the value of S. Now, if it will find that there are some threads which are waiting for this sigma for S, it will wake one of them. Now, so uh, how this critical section problem can be solved using sigma for? So what can be done before entering to the critical section? P operation will be called, and this operation will decrease the value so let's take a semaphore and the value of s is initially 1 so when this operation is called this operation will make it this value to 0 and after making this value this process start its critical section at the end of critical section it will increase this value again by 1 so in case if there are another process which also wants to enter in uh, critical section so that process also will be having the same code so when that process call p so that p actually decrease the value and it will make this value 0 to minus 1 and that process actually keep on waiting so we will see example if we are having two process how this mutual exclusion will be achieved how it will solve the critical section problem so these two process will be having same code now we will see the execution of these two process and for our example actually we have taken thread so we are considering same code for thread so here it will show you the value of semaphore this will show you the thread first thread which is thread 0 and it will show which statement is executed here it will show the state of thread first thread and here this is second thread all code when these instructions will be executed and here state of thread so here we are assuming initially thread 0 start executing so state of this thread is running and some other threads are also available there and those thread actually ready they are waiting to run they are waiting uh, for CPU so this thread is active this thread is running so this thread will call ps operation so what this ps operation will do it will decrease the value of thread so here when we call ps operation value of sigma for is 1 but when the execution is completed this value become 0 now this p operation says that if this value is less than 0 in that case wait otherwise continue your execution so this value is not less than 0 so this thread will uh, keep on executing its instruction it will come to the next instruction so it will enter in its critical section now let's assume while executing its critical section uh, there is an interrupt and operating system actually switch to another thread our CPU actually start executing to the another thread so how this scenario will be handled so here we are assuming there is an interrupt and the CPU actually start executing another thread so when this interrupt occur first thread 
will change its state and it will come to the ready state and second thread will come into running state so thread second thread also will do the same code it will execute the same code it will call p operation so this operation will decrease the sigma for value which is currently zero after decreasing it will be minus one now this operation also having this code if this value is less than zero then go to sleep mode so here this condition is satisfied and this thread voluntarily release the cpu and it will go to the sleep mode so it's state is actually changed to sleeping or waiting and after sleeping this state uh, cpu will be switched to first thread because this thread is voluntarily releasing the cpu so when this switch occur this thread actually uh, this thread is in sleeping mode and first thread will start running so here we are assuming let's say critical section execution of first thread is done so when critical section executed completely this thread will call v operation and this operation will increase the value of s so this value become now zero now if uh, uh, code of v operation says that increase the value plus if there is any thread waiting wake that thread so here if you can see this second thread is actually waiting for the sima for it sleeping so it will wake second thread here so now this thread will change its state and it's now ready to execute so here execution of thread one is completed first thread completed successfully so when this complete uh, com execution of this thread is completed cpu will switch to the another thread so switching will occur here so after switching this thread will change its state to ready and we are assuming there are some other code as well and cpu will come to second thread so here it change its state to running now here uh, this thread actually called p operation here it decremented value but it find that value is negative one that's why it go to the sleep mode but here it sees the value that value is zero and p operation says that if value is zero then continue your execution so second thread will continue its critical section and once this critical section is completed then it will call v operation and this v operation actually increase the value of sigma 4 so this is the way how sigma 4 can be used to solve critical section problem thank you very much for watching